Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 43rd Annual Michigan Emmy Awards. To start our show, please welcome the President of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Michigan Chapter, Bob Gould. Hello and welcome to the 2021 Emmy Awards. I'm Michigan Chapter President Bob Gould and we are once again coming to you again virtually to celebrate excellence in the television industry. In the past year, news teams covered some of the most historic stories we will see in our lifetime. A global pandemic that killed nearly 600,000 people in this country and created divisive debates about mask wearing and vaccines. We saw race riots, protests and demonstrations and covered an election that has polarized this country ending in an insurrection at the Capitol. You had to cover these stories while trying to stay safe and healthy, along with increasing anger and distrust of the media. It has not been easy. Yet, viewers tuned in, sometimes in record numbers, because you provided the information they needed to be informed. You told the stories that mattered and touched lives. You helped us navigate where to get tested or how to sign up for the vaccine. You provided nonstop updates on the presidential election with truth and facts during some very tenuous days. For production crews and sports, you didn't have it easy either. With sports being shut down, crews were out of work for a while. But then it all came back at once, creating a whirlwind of logistics to cover all the games, ensuring fans who couldn't see their favorite sport live could experience it from home. And for those that produce entertainment, you gave us original content to escape from reality just for a little bit. You didn't give up. You understood your calling as an industry professional. You proved that through adversity, you not only produced content that was important to the community, but you produced award-worthy programs. And that is what this Emmy Awards is all about. While it's more fun to celebrate in person, it does not diminish the prestige of being honored here. Winning or being nominated for an Emmy Award is a humbling experience. And I wanna congratulate all of those on that list this year. And perhaps this year, more than others, it will have a deeper meaning after a year we won't soon forget. So let's take some time to celebrate excellence, watching in anticipation as the envelopes are open. Whether you win or not, being nominated is still a tremendous honor. And I wanna thank everyone who supported me over the past four years as president. While my term is expiring, I still plan to be around promoting quality storytelling and teaching the next generation here at MSU. Hope to see you again in person next year. Please welcome our first presenter from WXYZ, Carolyn Clifford. Hi, everybody. I am Carolyn Clifford from WXYZ TV7. I am so excited to be here for the Emmys. You know, it's a little different this year, of course, with COVID, but here we go with my categories, and I'm going to start off with human interest, long-form content. Here are the nominees. Changing the game, Hockey Town's Next Generation, Olympia Entertainment, Detroit Red Wings, Fox Sports Detroit. Shaping Narratives, Ngiwe, WGVU. Spirit of Detroit, WDIV, clickondetroit.com. Youngest Killers, Wood. And the Emmy goes to, let's see. Youngest Killers, Ken Colker, Carter Ghent, Larry Grone from Wood TV. I just remember going into the room when they said that she was dead and I remember looking at her and she was white. And I just kept looking at her and I'm like, Kayla, you're playing a joke on us, just wake up. Kayla, just wake up. And she didn't. On February 29th, 2000, Leap Day, Kayla Rowland, the six-year-old tomboy with blue mischievous eyes, had become the nation's youngest school shooting victim. And the next category, branded content. And the nominees are National Food Group, be a part of our club. National Food Group, nationalfoodgroup.com. Hospitals can't operate without laundry. The story of MDAHS, Michigan Medicine, youtube.com. City Edition Jersey Launch, Detroit Pistons, Pistons.com. And the Emmy goes to Hospitals Can't Operate Without Laundry, the story of MDAHS, Hunter Mitchell, Brian McCullough, Michigan Medicine, slash YouTube.com. Today we're at Metropolitan Area Hospital Laundry in Detroit, Michigan. 
producing linens for Trinity Health System, Henry Ford Health System, and Michigan Medicine. You know, when you talk about laundries, people look at it like, put a quarter in and hit go. When you think about laundry from an industrial perspective, one sheet, two towels, that's about a pound. We're processing about 130,000 pounds per day. And the next category, military news. And the nominee is Rockford Mom Organizes Memorial Day Send-Off for Son, Wood. And the Emmy goes to... Rockford Mom Organizes Memorial Day Send-Off for Son. Lindsay McCommel, Kyle Wilson from Wood TV. Stephen Elkowitz made up his mind last year, enlisting in the Army at 17 years old. Last year, it was a big party thrown by his family before going off to basic. This year, the send-off looked a lot different. His mom called on the Rockford community to help, and they turned out. Aw, Stephen, this makes me want to cry. A display of patriotism for a Rockford 18-year-old some of these people have never met. Look at this, it's awesome. And the next category is for Anchor Sports. And the nominees are Mickey York, 2020, Fox Sports Detroit. John Keating, Anchor Host, Fox Sports Detroit. And the Emmy goes to... John Keating, anchor host John Keating for Fox Sports Detroit. Welcome to Red Wings Live. John Keating with former Stanley Cup champion Chris Osgood with you. Looking forward to this night as the Wings have a chance at a three-game winning streak. And when Chris Osgood and I see each other lately, it's what's he wearing? Because more often than not, what he's wearing has my face on it. Not tonight. The next category, Education Schools News. And the nominees are Every Day is Different, Flint Beat, Facebook.com, Stopping School Threats, WNEM, Mrs. Lampy's Last Day, WZZM. And the Emmy goes to... Here we go. Every day is different. Jamal Bransford, Jaquanda Johnson from Flint Beat slash Facebook.com. If you're a full-time employee and you work somewhere. You think it's the conclusion. It's very hard to sit and try to be a full-time parent, teacher with your kids in virtual because you have to make a living. All right, who wants to add to what time Well, to my media family is me and my four children. It's reading time. Yes, 50 stars. Every day is different. Every day. Some days it's easier than others. Some days I'm just pulling my hair out like, why are we doing this? And we got about 12 minutes left, so you got 12 minutes to get. Good evening. I'm Brian Bachman from WNEM TV5 in Saginaw. Want to say it's an honor to be here tonight. Let's jump right into our first category, which is writer sports. And the nominees are Planet Lions, a whole new schedule revealed. Detroit Lions, DetroitLions.com. John Keating, writing, Fox Sports Detroit. Histons Essays, Fox Sports Detroit. And the Emmy goes to... Histons Essays, Jason Dizick, Jordan Chambers, Greg Kessler from Fox Sports Detroit. It has been an unimaginably hard year. But even in the most difficult days, Detroiters seek the light at the end of the darkest tunnels. The men who wear our city's name across their chest embody that spirit. And no, the only way to face adversity is together. Our next category is weather, long or short form content. And the nominees are Paul Gross, Station Scientist, WDIV. 
Ask Ellen, viewer questions answered. Wood. And the Emmy goes to... Paul Gross, station scientist, WDIV. When you think about an archeological dig, you may think about ancient Greece, perhaps ancient Italy, or the Holy Land of Israel. And naturally, you probably also think about Hamtramck. <laughs> Hamtramck? That's right, Hamtramck. That's where Wayne State University professor of anthropology, Krista Ryzewski, is digging deep into the past of what used to be the heart of the city. And our next category is public affairs program. And the nominees are ABC 12 presents The Path Forward, WJRT. Inside Michigan's African American Vote, WXYZ, WMYD. One Detroit Education Special, School Days, WTVS. And the Emmy goes to ABC 12 presents The Path Forward, Matt Franklin, Dawn Jones, Denise Killian, WJRT. As the cries of our nation grew louder following the death of George Floyd at the hands of police one month ago in Minneapolis, millions took to the streets of their own communities. In order to get peace, we must do something different. Calling for change, justice, and action. And our next category up is lighting. And the nominees are Uncommon Times, Together We Will, Michigan State University, msutoday.msu.edu. Schwarzenberger Lighting Compilation, Fox Sports Detroit. And the Emmy goes to Uncommon Times, Together We Will, Anthony Siciliano and Greg Kohuth from Michigan State University, msutoday.msu.edu. Spartans have always worn helmets. Today, we wear masks. The world is facing uncommon times but our pursuit for a better one never stops. Together, our vision remains focused on making a safer and healthier tomorrow for all. Our next category is Reporter Investigative. And the nominees are Heather Catallo Reporting, WXYZ. Ken Kolker Investigative Reporter 2020, Wood. Rob Wolchek Investigative Reporter, WJBK. And the Emmy goes to Rob Wolchek, investigative reporter, WJBK. Even though he told Matthew and Richard their cars were still being worked on at German Motor Works in Clarkston, when I get there, there's a four lease sign out front. There's no, no vehicles in here, so I don't know where these guys' cars are. But I figure a leopard doesn't change its spots, and neither will Tiger. After a tip or two, we spot what looks like some fancy foreign cars being worked on out of this old boat business on Telegraph Road. Hi, everyone. I'm Taryn Asher from WJBK. I'm so happy to be a presenter at this year's Emmys. Let's get right to it. Our first category is Director, Long Form Content. And the nominees are COVID Diaries on the Front Line, WKAR. The New North Pole of the Winds, University of Michigan, YouTube.com. Robin Tracy, Director, Park West Gallery Studios, ParkWestGallery.com. Brian McCullough and Hunter Mitchell, Director, Michigan Medicine, YouTube.com. And the Emmy goes to... The New North Pole of the Winds, Sean Curtis Patrick, University of Michigan, YouTube.com. From the cold vastness of space, our small planet may look pristine, but it is fragile and in peril. The Earth's global temperature is becoming more and more erratic and is rising to record highs. Some areas on Earth are more sensitive to a warming climate, and one is a giant island covered by ice high on the Arctic Circle, Greenland. And our next category is Human Interest News. And the nominees are Night to Shine, WWTV, WWUP. I'm so glad it's me. WDIV, click on Detroit.com. 
You're not alone, Gigi. W-N-E-M. And the Emmy goes to... These envelopes. <laughs> You're not alone, Gigi. David Custer and Michelle Galarno, W-N-E-M. She's in agony over not being next to her grandma battling COVID-19. It's a situation thousands of Americans are facing as loved ones battle the virus in isolation. And two mid-Michigan women have found a way to be close, but it's not for the faint of heart, and it's forcing them to battle Mother Nature. And our next category is Talent Anchor Weather. And the nominees are Meteorologist Kevin Jeans, WXYZ. Ellen Baca, Wood. And the Emmy goes to meteorologist Kevin Jeans, WXYZ. Don't drive through flooded roads if you encounter a road that's flooded during the morning drive this morning. I'd leave 10, 15 minutes earlier than you normally do. That's a good idea because it's going to be a slow go. Our next category is hard news report, no time limit. And the nominee is COVID surface testing, WXMI, Fox17online.com. And the Emmy goes to COVID surface testing, Angeline McCall and Brian Farber from WXMI, Fox17online.com. Around West Michigan, we set out to learn where the coronavirus could be living. Swabbing in places you might interact with daily, ATMs, public bathrooms, credit card machines, grocery carts, and even a daycare. We tried to find places where people touch a lot of things, like on a swing, you know, they normally put their hands right here. This kit from California-based Phylogen lets anyone test for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. The process is easy enough. One swab, you put it in a green vial with the solution that they provide, then onto a surface for 15 seconds, and then finally you put it in its final vial. Our next category is News Promotion Topical Single Spot. And the nominees are Youngest Killers, Wood, WoodTV.com. Morning After the Oscars, WZZM. White Boy Rick, in his words, WXYZ, WXYZ.com. And the Emmy goes to... It's a tie. Uh, youngest Killers, Carson Kolenko, WoodTV.com, Wood. There's a presumption that a, a child is not criminally responsible and cannot form the intent to kill. He doesn't know what he did. I forgive you. I love you. Just wake up. Just wake up. And she didn't. And white boy Rick, in his words, Phil Robel, Katie Chupalo, and Karam Rossum, WXYZ. I walked out of this house the morning of January 15th, 88. I never returned until now. I sold drugs. I'm not proud of it, but I was pushed into that life by our law enforcement and our government. System let him down. Society has let him down. The exclusive interview. I never got to tell my side of things. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer from WNEM. It is an honor to be here tonight, but let's get right to it. My first category is human interest short form. And the nominees are Changing the Ending, WWTV, WWUP, One Bead at a Time, WZZM, Vic Thompson's Lung Cancer Survivor Story, Henry Ford Health System, HenryFord.com, Voice of Survivorship, L. Higgins Cancer Story, Henry Ford Health System, HenryFord.com, Wheelchair Athlete Competes with Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy. Mary Freebed, MaryFreebed.com. And the Emmy goes to... One Bead at a Time, Brent Ashcroft and Everett Leonard from WZZM. Pinched between thumb and finger... First, I set him out... A simple bead. You need to, like... On it goes. Put it through the hole. Pay attention. Fold it like that. There's a process. Put the end where the string came out into the string side. Repeat. When it's all tied together, one, you'll be able to move them up after so that you can count how many you've done. 
another. It's really easy to do it. And my next category is investigative. And the nominees are Charity Bin Sheets, WJBK. Riots Revealed, Following the Money, Wood. Unsafe Landing System, Air Traffic Control Whistleblower, WXYZ. And the Emmy goes to Charity Bin Cheats, Rob Wolchek, WJBK. Khaled. What are you talking about, man? I'm talking about Khaled's company, a business that collects clothes generous people donate at bins around Metro Detroit. Please, man, we, we, the, the news every time is bad. Looking for something bad. I we think you're not, doing something not, bad. Not. Yeah, see, some of the donation boxes say the clothes are going to help a nonprofit group that helps lost children. It's actually fraud because the public thinks that the money is helping our charity and not one penny is going to our charity. And my next category is Talent Performer Narrator. And the nominee is It's All About Online, Troy Hale Films, YouTube.com. And the Emmy goes to It's All About Online, Troy Hale, from Troy Hale Films and YouTube.com. In fact, I did an entire YouTube video on how to fake yourself into your Zoom meetings. Nobody really noticed. Along with a massive increase in Zoom meetings. This Zoom meeting has been going for 42 minutes. Our work, school, and lives have dramatically changed. We're stuck inside binge watching TV shows. Sailing shows. I got stuck on a bunch of YouTube sailing videos so I could feel like I was still traveling the world just for my couch. And my next category is sports program, post-produced or edited. And the nominees are Spartans All Access, episode 225, Michigan State University Athletics, Fox Sports Detroit. Sights and Sounds, Detroit Lions, DetroitLions.com. And the Emmy goes to Spartans All Access, episode 225, Benjamin Owen from Michigan State University Athletics and Fox Sports Detroit. Ready? Ready? I think you should, I think, I think the boys, I think you guys should introduce me. It could be like the Oscars. Huh? It'd be like how they got two people up there presenting for the Oscars. And they'd be like, <laughs> Hi there, I'm Alicia Smith with WXYZ. I am so pleased to be with you tonight. Let's get right to it. The next category, arts, entertainment, short or long form content. And the nominees are... Detroit Performs, Sabrina Nelson, WTVS. The Nutcracker Experience, Salt, Wood. Kresge Arts in Detroit, Artist Film Series, Real Clever Films, LLC, Kresge Arts in Detroit Presents, .com. And the Emmy goes to... Kresge Arts in Detroit, Artist Film Series, Eden and Thad Salaboro, Real Clever Films, LLC, Kresge Arts in Detroit Presents, .com. I think there's something about the questioning nature of poetry, the immediacy of it as a form, that really speaks to who I am as an artist and is something that I connect to. I've always been a poet. I've been writing for a long time. It's a daily part of my life. Next up, writer, long form content. And the nominees are the Deadliest Great Lake, MLive.com. Linked to legends, the UP teams that played the Packers, WNMU, WNMUTV.NMU.EDU. And the Emmy goes to... Oh. The Deadliest Great Lake, Lori Chapman, MLive.com. Lake Michigan is the deadliest Great Lake. Each year, dozens of people drown while swimming or boating in its waters. There was a point where we realized he wasn't alive, and the horrible thing was knowing he's out in Lake Michigan somewhere. And they kept saying, he'll, he'll be okay, and I said, no, he won't. The lake doesn't give people back. 
Why do beachgoers and boaters die summer after summer when activists say drowning can be prevented? Our next category, audio. And the nominees are A Classy Brassy Christmas and More, W-E-Y-I. Backstage Pass, Tunde Olani Ran, W-K-A-R. And the Emmy goes to... Backstage Pass, Drew Hill, W-K-A-R. Put you on my speakerphone and ask can I be real? You sat back in your hybrid and you listened to the deal. I reached the point of no return. Learned every lesson I could learn. And my eyes wide and my brain's down and my stage lit with these lights on and my vision burn like a ray gun. Like a ray gun. Like a ray gun. Like a ray gun. Like a Next up, we have photographer, long form content. And the nominee is Destination Michigan, WCMU. And the Emmy goes to Destination Michigan, Chris Ogazali, Adam Medima, WCMU. Beaver Island is only a two hour ferry ride or a 15 minute flight by plane. Its remoteness leaves it a relatively untouched area of Michigan, including lots of state land just waiting to be explored, and much of it can be enjoyed for free. It's just amazing how many people, you know, even in the local area, have never taken a chance to go out to Beaver Island. Um, we have a lot of events going on throughout the summer, from music fests going on this week. Our next category, Program Host Moderator Correspondent. And the nominees are Rob Stevenson, WKAR, Brooke Fletcher Host, Fox Sports Detroit. Changing the Game, Hockey Town's Next Generation, Olympia Entertainment, Detroit Red Wings, Fox Sports Detroit. And the Emmy goes to... Changing the Game, Hockey Town's Next Generation, Trevor Thompson, Olympia Entertainment, Detroit Red Wings, Fox Sports Detroit. Hockey is a powerful platform that builds character, fosters positive values, and develops important life skills. That's where I first learned the value of dealing with adversity and teamwork. Hi, I'm Trevor Thompson with a look at something new in the world of hockey and in the city of Detroit. It's called Learn, Play, Score, and it's a unique initiative to utilize the sport of hockey as a springboard to life for the children of Detroit. Good evening, I'm Josh Landon with Fox 2 News, WJBK in Detroit. I am happy and humbled to be with all of you this evening. Let's get right to it. Here's my first category for the evening, societal concerns, long form content. And the nominees are Kidnapping Plot, Wood, L Isle Peace March, WXYZ, Understanding COVID-19, WDIV, click on Detroit.com. And now the Emmy goes to a little drum roll, please. Let's see, what do we have here? A little tricky to get out. Kidnapping Plot, Susan Samples, Ken Coker, Carter Gent, Larry Gron, Valet Curdy from Wood TV in Grand Rapids. Congratulations. Suspected terrorist takedown. Boom, a flashbang grenade. Across the state. <laughs> it's not like Vietnam. A state of shock. It's just unimaginable. Allegations of a brazen plot. To kidnap and possibly kill me. Exposed to the light for the first time, but in the dark corners of the web, months of alleged planning, encrypted cyber chats, secret meetings, say the feds. Our next category is... Video Journalist. And the nominees are Jamal Bransford Composite, Flintbeat, YouTube.com. Is It Just You Here? WZZM. Matthew Ozenich, Destination, Michigan, WCMU. And the Emmy goes to Matthew Ozanich from WCMU. Congratulations. First up on our list is the Never Trumper. Now this isn't a nod to their political leanings, it just means that they are the ones who can never, ever remember what suit is Trump.
What's Trump again? It's hearts. Just like it was last time and the time before that. Maybe it would be easier if you just wrote it down. Our next category, special event coverage. And the nominees are Light Up the Season, WXYZ, A Classy Brassy Christmas and More, WEYI, NBC25news.com, Feeding Detroit, A Motor City Meal-a-thon, WKBD, WWJ. And the Emmy goes to Light Up the Season, WXYZ, Nicholas Tykowski, Andre Malaus, Josh Boren, Praveen Sadaraman, Marie Therese Gould. Congratulations. Spruce. And wow, Santa himself kicking off our show. Good evening to you all. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn here in the heart of downtown Detroit and about to be joined once again by Santa for the big countdown to turn on the lights. No crowds here tonight because we are all in this together, trying to stay safe and healthy during the COVID crisis. So very important, you know that. Thanks to the Downtown Detroit Partnership. Our next category is Business Consumer Short or Long Form. And the nominees are The Rebound Detroit, Navigating Through the Pandemic, WXYZ, WXYZ.com. Holland Downtown Business Features Series, Holland Cable TV, Facebook.com. And the Emmy goes to, looks like we may have a tie here. How about that? The Rebound Detroit, Navigating Through the Pandemic, Amira David, Tracy Wujak, WXYZ. It's called The Rebound Detroit. You're worried about your small business? We'll help you find resources to keep it going. You need help finding a new gig? We'll bring you the people hiring. You're concerned about an unemployment system riddled with delays. We have to do better to ensure that everyone gets the help they, they need. Holland Downtown Business Features Series. Eric Bruscouter, Kevin Lee. Holland Cable TV slash Facebook. We're a pub that focuses on high quality food and just to be a place for people to come and hang out for a while. There's some history to the building with the uh, Waverly Stone being quarried over on 120th and Chicago Drive. Uh, and some of the older buildings actually are faced with it and it just seemed like a really good name for uh, a gastro pub. And our next category is politics and government news. And the nominees are the Governor's COVID Town Hall, WXYZ, WJBK, WDIV, WXYZ.com. UIA excludes 400 pages of emails after records request. WXMI, Fox17Online.com. And this Emmy goes to the Governor's COVID Town Hall, Carolyn Clifford, Huel Perkins, and Devin Skillian, WXYZ, WJBK, WDIV, and WXYZ.com. Less than a month ago, on March 10th, voters all over the state of Michigan knew the coronavirus had arrived here in the U.S. But with duty on our minds, we marched to the polls in the Michigan primary with the whole country watching the vote. The crowds at polling places were something to cheer, not something to fear. Our next category is Photographer News. And the nominees are Jason Harris, WWMT, WWMT.com. COVID Composite, Detroit Free Press, Freep.com. Visual Storytelling, WZZM. And the Emmy goes to COVID Composite, Brian Kaufman, Detroit Free Press, Freep.com. Today we have to have a very candid and open, important conversation with you. This virus is spreading exponentially. Without a comprehensive national strategy, we, the states, must take action. Today I'm issuing a stay home, stay safe executive order for all Michiganders, and it goes into effect just after midnight tonight. Our next category is weather news. And the nominee is meteorologist Derek Kevra, WJBK. And the Emmy goes to
Meteorologist Derek Kevra, WJBK. With a couple of 50 degree days in our seven day forecast and a lot of sunshine, it's the question people keep asking us at the Weather Authority. Is winter over? Well, the data is going to tell you no. In my gut, also kind of tells you no. I want to break down March and April snowstorms and let's just go back. Let's just go back to last year and we're going to talk about how much snow we saw late in the season last year. We had a snowstorm in late March. Our next category is children and youth 12 and under news. And the nominees are Lori's Science Corner, WJBK, Fox2Detroit.com. Curious about careers, meteorologist, WKAR. And the Emmy goes to Curious About Careers, Meteorologist, Carol Yancho, WKAR. Are you curious about careers in science? Hi, I'm Genesis, and today I'm here with Meteorologist Emily Walls. Emily, where are we? And tell me more about what you do. Well, today we are at WLNS TV6 in Lansing, Michigan, and I am the weekday morning meteorologist in Lansing and Jackson Market. What does a meteorologist do? A meteorologist analyzes and interprets data in order to explain and understand the weather. And as my job as a broadcast meteorologist, I have to communicate that through television. The next category is lifestyle, short or long form. And the nominees are Quarantine Dreams, WZZM, 13onyourside.com. Fitness Over 40, Robin Schwartz PR, YouTube.com. Dine in the D, WDIV. And the Emmy goes to... Fitness Over 40, Robin Schwartz, Grayson Barris, Anne Marie Wakula, Michael DeVilling, Robin Schwartz PR, YouTube.com. COVID 19 has made fitness a challenge, but there are many ways to get creative. How can you get or stay in shape in new ways and stay safe? We're here to help. This is Fitness Over 40, brought to you by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Hello, I'm Anne Marie Wakula, a certified personal trainer and an over 40 mother of three. Today we're going to talk about what you can do to get or stay in shape, even during this pandemic. Remember. Next category up is sports documentary. And the nominees are Spartans All Access Episode 226, Michigan State University Athletics, Fox Sports Detroit. Remembering Mr. Tiger, Fox Sports Detroit, FoxSports.com, Detroit. Driven, Detroit Pistons. Detroit Pistons, Pistons.com. SC Rivals King versus Cass. Yellow Flag Productions, StateChampsNetwork.com. And the Emmy goes to Spartans All Access, Episode 226, Benjamin Owen, Michigan State University Athletics, and Fox Sports Detroit. You always talk about how fragile life is. Every day you wake up, you're blessed, you're lucky. But it is fragile. It, it kind of makes you re reassess and think how much you should appreciate the opportunities you have. Because none of us do. You always look at it that you want to play for somebody and whoever it is, son, daughter, father, wife, or husband, it'd do you good to tell them you love them and you appreciate them. And it would do you a lot of good than any people closest to you that you, you say that. You say it, and you say it, and you say it. Next up, Graphic Arts Motion Graphics News. And the nominee is Housing Discrimination in Detroit, an example of systemic racism, WDIV. And the Emmy goes to... Housing discrimination in Detroit, an example of systemic racism. Kimberly Gill, Hans Eisenfeld, WDIV. From 1930 to 1970, lots of people moved to Detroit. Blacks, whites, and immigrants all wanted the American dream. It seemed attainable in large thanks to the burgeoning auto industry. But America was still crippled from the effects of the Great Depression. To get the economy going, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt came up with the New Deal. In it, the Federal Housing Act of 1934 provided low-interest, government-backed mortgages to whites only and even subsidized contractors to build new subdivisions as long as they promised not to sell the homes they built to blacks and many times immigrants. 
Next category is military, short form. And the nominees are Emperor's Legacy, WJBK, Fox2Detroit.com. Family, The Asamu Johnson Story, iMichigan Productions, PeacefulWarriorsProject.com. Leaving the Fallen Behind, WZZM. And the Emmy goes to... Leaving the Fallen Behind, Brent Ashcroft, Evan Leonard, WZZM. November 7th, 1952. Corporal Doherty and Private First Class Hausler, along with 17 other servicemen, boarded a plane in Anchorage, Alaska for a flight to Fairbanks. Its call letters, Gamble Chalk 1. The pilot was unaware that his navigation map had a mislabeled radio frequency. 30 miles off course, they were headed toward the peak of Mount Silverthrone. Gamble Chalk 1 crashed into the ridge. The 19 servicemen were never recovered. Editor News is our next category. And the nominees are Michelle Gallarno, Editor, WNEM. COVID Composite, Detroit Free Press, Freep.com. Riots, Follow the Money, Wood. And the Emmy goes to... Riots, follow the money. Carter Gent would. It takes but a few keystrokes to launch a clickbait conspiracy theory, but these keys unlock truths too. It's how Target 8 uncovered a critical clue, a single name in an online court record, John Robert Martin. When he bailed two suspected rioters out of the Kent County Jail, he became the first peg in a connect the dots puzzle that some don't want solved. Do you know John Martin? Wait, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm okay. gonna go. Thank okay. you, though. I want you to leave right now. Our next category, sports interview discussion. And the nominees are Unscripted, Fox Sports Detroit. Wingspan, Table for Three, Fox Sports Detroit. Anything Goes with Luke Kennard, Fox Sports Detroit. Straight Talk, Fox Sports Detroit. And the Emmy goes to, here we go. Anything Goes with Luke Kennard, Alex Asaf, Brooke Fletcher, Chad Schwarzenberger, Amber Curran, Fox Sports Detroit. Welcome to Anything Goes. I'm Brooke Fletcher here with Luke Kennard, and we're here at the Pistons Training Facility in downtown Detroit. Luke, thanks for being with me thanks today. For having me. Having <laughs> this is your, you've been in Detroit now for a couple of years, but you're a Midwest guy. You're from Ohio, Franklin, Ohio. It's a little under, what, four hours from Detroit? Yep. So tell me about your hometown. I know you're really proud of your hometown. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, three and a half hours from here. So I have a lot of friends, a lot of family. My parents, my dad especially, makes it to every home game. Hasn't missed a home game since my rookie year, I think. Wow. Or maybe one just because of weather. But uh... Up next, environment science news. And the nominees are Rising Waters of the Great Lakes, MLive.com. Morrow Dam repairs cause issues on Kalamazoo River. Wood. And the Emmy goes to Rising Waters of the Great Lakes. Garrett Ellison, Corey Morse, MLive.com. For the past few months, operators have allowed record flow through to help drop water levels on Lake Ontario. The Great Lakes started breaking monthly and annual water level records in 2019. Lake Ontario and Lake Erie broke all time high marks set more than 100 years ago. Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, and Lake Huron each came near peak levels set in the 1980s. The Great Lakes have always been unruly neighbors, but things are getting extreme these days. Our next category is Editor Sports. And the nominees are Andrew DuPont Composite, Detroit Tigers, Tigers.com. Neil Larson, Detroit Lions, DetroitLions.com. Riverside Skate Park, Fox Sports Detroit. And the Emmy goes to... Neil Larson, Detroit Lions, congratulations.
Our next category is historical, cultural, long form content. And the nominees are Shaping Narratives, Meeting God, WGVU, Seven Action News Black History Month Special, WXYZ, Rochester, Michigan's hometown, Legacy Media Group, WXYZ, Spirit of Detroit, Fulfilling the Dream, WDIV. And the Emmy goes to Spirit of Detroit, Fulfilling the Dream, Megan St. Pierre, Aaron Fleming, Kimberly Gill, Roseanne Coppola from WDIV. Congratulations. It is the American wound that refuses to heal. Perhaps because it's never really been bandaged properly. The stitches split wide open again as the spring of 2020 rolled into view. As the coronavirus deaths began to accumulate, a glaring pattern quickly began to emerge. The virus was killing African Americans at an astounding rate. And away from the hospitals, the virus was also infecting the economy, putting it too on life support. Our next category is societal concerns, news. And the nominees are Deadly Transfer, Lisa Cole's COVID-19 Story, WXYZ. The Deadliest Great Lake, MLive.com. Ride for Schuyler, WDIV. Election 2020, putting the mail to the test. WEYI, MidMichiganNow.com. And the Emmy goes to... The Deadliest Great Lake, Jeremy Marble, Lori Chapman, Neil Blake, Jillian Van Strait, Dana Afana, MLive.com. Congratulations to the recipients. There were no lifeguards at the National Park where Jacob Sandy launched his kayak for the last time. And there haven't been lifeguards in Michigan State Parks since the early 1990s. It's outrageous that we don't have lifeguards. These beaches are the economic engines for your tourism and you're not protecting the people when they come here. Our next category is Program Promotion, Single Spot. And the nominee is Rise of the Telecast, Park West Gallery Studios, parkwestgallery.com. And the Emmy goes to Rise of the Telecast, Jordan Sitter, Robin Tracy, Chris Moore, Tony Legia, Park West Gallery Studios. Congratulations to the recipients. I've been an art dealer for 20 years, but I've never seen anything like the Park West Telecast. It's the new and exciting way to collect art. My role at Park West has been hosting art auctions around the world and exclusive VIP events for our very best collectors. And while nothing can replace those live experiences we provide, there's something different and powerful about the online telecast auctions. I think it must be the sheer access collectors are getting to our entire inventory and the unbelievable values we're offering. And the next category, health medical long form content. And the nominee is Earliest Heartbreak, Detroit Free Press, freep.com. And the Emmy goes to Earliest Heartbreak, Brian Kaufman, Gina Kaufman, Alicia Anderson, and Christy Tanner from the Detroit Free Press slash freep.com. When a pandemic hits, you don't want to believe it's true. And people thinking that this is like just a made up virus. I mean, hell, I even thought that. I wish we would have been told in January how dangerous this was because my mother and all of us were following that advice. We were ill-prepared for a virus of this nature to be here, and it slammed us. And the next category is breaking news. And the nominees are Police Clash with Protesters, WDIV, Grand Rapids Riots, WXMI, Flooding Disaster, WNEM, Grand Rapids 2020 Riot, Wood. And the Emmy goes to, let's see, Grand Rapids 2020 Riot, Luke Steyer, 
Jennifer Hill, Anna Sabine, Susan Samples, Justin Wynn, John Domel, Bilal Curdy from Wood TV. There's still quite a bit of activity down here. And it seems that the, oh wow, wow, over here. Several vehicles are ablaze, not far off from Rosa Park Circle. And this is Monroe right here. As we walk as near as we can, the air is thick with smoke. And our next category is live sporting event game. And the nominees are Detroit Red Wings game telecasts, Fox Sports Detroit. 2020 Detroit Tigers baseball compilation reel, Fox Sports Detroit, foxsports.com Detroit. Detroit Pistons basketball, Fox Sports Detroit. High school football game telecasts, Fox Sports Detroit. And the Emmy goes to Detroit Pistons basketball, Jason Disick, Michael Ordino, Brian Henry, David Rhodes, Jeff Bile, and Brady Klima from Fox Sports Detroit. Four seconds and the Pistons are electing to get a stop here. This could be the game. Kyrie Irving misses from distance. Rebound. Comes to Derrick Rose. Derrick for the basket. Lays it up. Lays it in with 1.9 to go in the game. Made a mistake. And seconds later, wiped it out and tied the score. And the next category is documentary topical. And the nominees are Paddling the Chain of Lakes, WWTV, WWUP. AG 2.0, Changes, Challenges, and Trends, WDCQ. And the Emmy goes to Paddling the Chain of Lakes, Corey Atkins and Stephanie Atkins from WWTV, WWUP. amazing. It was pure calm and fish were jumping and there was a kind of a fog rising off the water. And the next category is public service announcement single spot. And the nominees are play to win vote promo Fox Sports Detroit. A2 neighbors Colitz Colitz.com. Say it don't spray it PSA. WKAR. And the Emmy goes to Say It Don't Spray It PSA Carol Yancho WKAR. You've heard how important wearing a mask in public areas or indoors is to slow the spread of COVID 19. Now, since I'm alone right now, I don't need to wear one, but you can bet when I'm around others, I've got it on. You may be thinking, does a mask really make a difference? Does it really help keep me and others safe? Well, let's break it down. You're gonna wanna see this. And my next category is News Feature, Serious Feature, Single Report. And the nominees are House of Cards, Crumbling for Custom Home Builder, WJBK. Heaven Can Wait, WZZM. A Night We Must Never Forget, WXYZ. Journey for Justice, WJBK, fox2detroit.com. And the Emmy goes to. It's a tie. The first one, House of Cards Crumbling for Custom Home Builder, Rob Walchek from WJBK. Welcome home. Look at this community of lovely new houses in Shelby Township. Can you please take that off for me? There are fancy pants model homes from several builders here, including this one by Sunset Homes. Sunset builds new homes all over Macomb County. We are supposed to be in this house Christmas 2018. Um, 
and it's been hell. You're not even in the house. No. And you're getting sued. Mm -hmm. The whole building process has been a nightmare. He's a nightmare in himself. He is Sunset Homes owner, Paul Esposito. And the second Emmy goes to Heaven Can Wait, Brent Ashcroft and Evan Leonard from WZZM. One Sunday morning. I've worked out all the time, every day almost. Matt Cass chose this path. Doing fine, walking, at a good pace. Walking, walking, doing great, and gone. My oldest was on the back porch. That's when paths, I just felt like this is the way, started crossing. Said, Mom, there's a man down. Kim Quigg. Ran through my house down the back steps. Through. And my next category is graphic arts, motion graphics. And the nominees are graphics composite, WKAR. Ken Vance graphics compilation reel, Fox Sports Detroit. And the Emmy goes to... Ken Vance Graphics Compilation Reel, Kenneth Vance from Fox Sports Detroit. And my next category is Documentary Cultural. And the nominees are Six Degrees with Tino G, Loud Productions, LLC, WTVS. An American Prophecy, Robin Schwartz PR, YouTube.com. Nature and Us is One, WGVU. And the Emmy goes to An American Prophecy, Robin Schwartz, Grayson Barris, Aaron Dorklin, Robin Schwartz, PR, YouTube.com. You are good when you are one with yourself. The soul unfolds itself like a lotus of countless petals. And think not you can direct the course of love, for love, if it finds you worthy, directs your course. And in this. And my next category is News Promotion Image Single Spot. And the nominees are. Home for the Holidays, Wood. Detroit Unites, Voices for Change, Voices for Peace, WXYZ. The Seven Investigators, Every Fact, Clue, and Detail, WXYZ. And the Emmy goes to... The Seven Investigators, Every Fact, Clue, and Detail, Phil Robel, Darren Boulderis, Timothy Hawkins, WXYZ. When the seven investigators take on a story, they dig into every fact, every clue, every detail to see the big picture. Then they're right there for you in your community, giving you a voice, taking action, holding officials accountable, helping to fix what's wrong and getting results that make our neighborhood stronger and families safer. Heather Catalo, Ross Jones, the investigative team Detroit can count on. The seven investigators, only on seven. Our next category is Sports One-Time Special. And the nominees are Road to Detroit 2020, Detroit Tigers, Fox Sports Detroit. Tigers Memorable Moments 2000 and Beyond, Fox Sports Detroit. Behind the Screens, Top Moments of 2020, Fox Sports Detroit. Detroit Lions Road to the Draft 2020 Senior Bowl, Detroit Lions, WJBK. The Rocket Mortgage Classic Primetime Special, WXYZ. And the Emmy goes to... All right, behind the scenes, top moments of 2020. Alex Ossoff, George Gallagher, Brooke Fletcher, Jeff Lysak, and Michael Happy from Fox Sports Detroit. How's it going, everybody? Brooke Fletcher here, coming to you from, well, my home. <laughs> and welcome to Behind the Screens, Top Moments of 2020, where we take a look back at some of our most memorable social media content of the year. Now, Our next category is Children, Youth, 12 and Under, Long Form Content. And the nominees are Curious Crew, Bowling Science, WKAR. 
The Mr. E Show, Episode 2, The Pirate Adventure. Detroit Media Services, Channel 22. And the Emmy goes to... The Mr. E Show, Episode 2, The Pirate Adventure. Rebecca Smith, Joseph Harris, Emmanuel Smith, Sanders Bryant the Fourth, and Chris Mosley. Detroit Media Services, Channel 22. Hey, everybody. Come on in and find an outfit for today's adventure. Today's adventure. Mr. E Show. Our next category is Weathercast. And the nominees are Dangerous Summer Storms, WLNS, WLNS.com. Microburst Strike, WNEM. And the Emmy goes to Microburst Strike, Brian Bachman, WNEM. All right, a very good Thursday evening to you, everyone. Your weather word of the day is microburst. The National Weather Service confirming that one occurred in Southern Bay County earlier this afternoon as those storms rolled through. We've shown you the pictures of the damage left behind, but here's some video of it actually happening posted to our Facebook page earlier today by Lisa Ulrich. This uh, coming in at 1:30 as those storms charged on through Essexville. You can see that powerful blast of winds there buffeting those trees, even the ones in the distance there. Even actually you see a branch breaking away in some of that video there. Our next category is crime, short or long format. And the nominees are The Receipt, Wood, Life After Lockup, White Boy Rick Breaks His Silence, WXYZ, The Matuk Mystery, WDIV, She's a Monster, The Crimes of Tara Lee, WXYZ. And the Emmy goes to the Matuk Mystery, John Pompeo, WDIV. It's a mystery that has haunted Rose Point Farms. I firmly believe they were her finger or her footprints. And Rose Point Woods for more than a decade. What happened to the mother of three, Joanne Matuk? It remains one of the area's biggest mysteries. What happened to 55-year-old Joanne Matuk Romaine? If you're like many, you were made first aware of her story January 12th, 2010. Our next category is Documentary Historical. And the nominees are African Democracy, Hopes and Challenges, Wayne State University Television, Comcast. Rockin' Robin, a tribute to Robin Seymour, WTVS, dptv.org. Lifta, Eric Schrotenbohr Music and Film, ericschrotenbohr.com. And the Emmy goes to Rockin' Robin, a tribute to Robin Seymour, Bill Kubuda, and Fred Nahat, WTVSDPTV.org. Oh, I have a disc jockey show, Robin Seymour, Bob and Oh, yeah. Recognized by name. Never know how much I love. <laughs> Dearborn Station, playing Little Richard Records. As rock and roll came in, Robin was the guy. The big thing that was coming in was a change in music. When it became Keener 13, it was one thing only. Play the hits. I saw where television was going. Robin had already laid the groundwork when he was in radio. And our next category is Daily News Single, Single Shift. And the nominees are... Feeding the People, WXYZ. Wings of Hope, Wood. Paint Shop Fire, WXMI, Fox17Online.com. All right, let's check out who the Emmy goes to. Wings of Hope, Casey Jones from Wood. Bruce Smith knows the weight of a box. For the last three years, his mornings are spent handling a few thousand each day. After a while, they start to run together. Now those boxes, filled with COVID-19 vaccines, carry a burden meant for his hands. This is the Christmas gift that will keep giving to save lives all across this country. The category straight ahead is interview discussion. And the nominees are 
Yancho Family Veteran Story, iMichigan Productions, PeacefulWarriorsProject.com. American Black Journal, Black Lives Matter, is the media getting it right? WTVS. And the Emmy goes to... It's a tie! Here we go! Yancho Family Veteran Story, Rodney Brown, William Redwine, Justin Brown, Michael Thorpe with iMichigan Productions, PeacefulWarriorProject.com. Today we're going to talk with the family of George Yancho. Uh, George Yancho was a World War II veteran. He served in the 172nd Combat Engineer Battalion in Europe during World War II. George Yancho liked to talk about his stories of being in the service. And we're going to talk with his widow. Uh, Mary Yancho is with us, as well as his son, Michael Yancho. And American Black Journal, Black Lives Matter, is the media getting it right? Stephen Henderson, Orlando Bailey, Daphne Hughes, Christopher Jordan, Catherine Kelly with WTVS. Historically, black Americans are underrepresented in decision-making positions in one of the country's most important institutions, the news media. But why does it remain this way? Is it denial and unawareness of the status quo? Here's Vincent McCraw, president of the Detroit branch of the National Association of Black Journalists. Unfortunately, over the years, I think it's a little of both. I think newsrooms have been in denial for a long time. Our next category, commercial, single spot. And the nominees are All For You, Vaccine Creative, HenryFord.com. Tough Love, Vaccine Creative, HenryFord.com. Adder Up America, Legacy Media Group, WXYZ. DTE, Lead by Example. 77 Productions, Vimeo.com. And the Emmy goes to... Go. DTE Lead by Example, Nora Urbanski, Rhonda Huey, Ryan Schwartz, Karen Kozo, Mark Ruiz, 77 Productions, Vimeo.com. DTE believes leaders are defined by doing what's right, not what's easy. So we've taken bold steps to become the clean energy leader in Michigan. Building the largest wind and solar installations in the state. And using cleaner natural gas. Now, we're accelerating our efforts. Tripling renewables and cutting carbon emissions in half over the next 10 years. Up next, news feature, light feature, single report. And the nominees are... Frontline Workers COVID Routine, WDIV. The Lakeshore Janitor, WZZM. Nosh with Josh, WJBK. Fire Ops 101, WJBK. What are antibodies? A claymation explanation, WDIV. And the Emmy goes to... Frontline Workers COVID Routine, Joshua Daunt. The text comes in kind of like a two-minute warning. Nicole says she's on her way home, and Josh prepares the cabin for landing. The shower is readied. And so is the washing machine. The door to the garage is propped open. The whole drill designed to make sure Nicole has to touch almost nothing. Sports program. Pistons Live, Fox Sports Detroit. Tigers Live, Fox Sports Detroit. And the Emmy goes to... Pistons Live, Craig Wilking, Joe Nicola, Brian Henry, Brady Klima, Jeff Bile, Fox Sports Detroit. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pistons Live. 
on this Super Bowl Sunday from the Ram desk or the buffet, if you will. Good food, good company, <laughs> hopefully a good basketball game here today between the Pistons and the Nuggets. Denver coming off an impressive win over Milwaukee on uh, Friday night. They have won seven straight. The Pistons, meanwhile, have dropped five straight. It doesn't get any easier, Grant. Are we going to try to eat all of this by halftime? Yes. <laughs> That's the goal. I've got a plate of grease here I'm going to enjoy. Our next category is Business Consumer News. And the nominees are Place Your Bets, Michigan Casinos Go All In on Sportsbooks, WEYI, MidMichiganNow.com, Grain Free Dog Food, WZZM13 On Your Side.com. The Emmy goes to Grain Free Dog Food, Valerie Lego from WZZM13 On Your Side.com. Joey was a Cocker Spaniel mix and always had allergies, which is why Kirk fed him a grain-free diet, never dreaming he was actually doing him harm. The first thing they asked me was, what are you feeding him? And I said, well, I've been feeding him this grain-free. Joey had heart failure, and he wasn't alone. According to the FDA, hundreds of dogs have gotten the same diagnosis. Some even died because they were eating a grain-free dog food. Our next category is Image Promotion Single Spot. And the nominees are Riverside Skate Park, Fox Sports Detroit, U of M Flint, Defining a Wolverine, Michigan Media, University of Michigan, umflint.com. And the Emmy goes to, it's a tie. Riverside Skate Park, Andrew Walton, Lauren Pro Pober from Fox Sports Detroit. Uh, we sit here at Riverside Park right now. Uh, we just hanging out, you know, skating a little bit. Um, you know, we just kicking it, man. It takes your mind away from everything because you have to land the trick. You're thinking about falling, hurting something, breaking something. You're not gonna be thinking about whatever the issue is that's going on in life. You're gonna be thinking about skateboarding and landing that trick. So it keeps you focused, you know? And you have M. Flint defining a Wolverine. Bob Berg, Jennifer Hogan, and Karai Turner from Michigan Media, University of Michigan, uofmflint.com. What does it mean to be a Wolverine? It's the tenacity in our stride, the victor in our spirit. Every day, we walk the path to discover our truth. With the soles of our feet, plant ourselves firmly as leaders. Never resting on this quest to question convention, our mission is more than making a difference. Our next category is overall excellence. And the nominees are Fox Sports Detroit 2020, and WXYZ. And the Emmy goes to... Fox Sports Detroit 2020, Greg Hammerin from Fox Sports Detroit. Rise to the occasion like yeast in the oven. D don't do this for nothing, homie. D keep it a hundred. D is destined to run it. Test us, we'll wreck your assumptions. Wait. Ain't no fronting in our DNA. When you speak on us, respect us in our many names. I'm talking slum village, Motown, Renaissance City, this the Paris of the Midwest, home of the gritty indeed. And our next category, technical achievement. And the nominees are 2020 Detroit Lions Virtual Draft Party. Detroit Lions, DetroitLions.com. Detroit Tigers Baseball, Fox Sports Detroit. A classy, brassy Christmas and more. W-E-Y-I, NBC25news.com. And the Emmy goes to... A classy, brassy Christmas and more. Christopher Harris, James Booth, and William Harris from W-E-Y-I, NBC25news.com. And 
And our next category is Talent Reporter, Specialty Assignment. And the nominees are Lauren Edwards, WXMI, Reporter, Specialty Assignment, WXMI, Fox17Online.com. Kimberly Russell, WXYZ. Leon Hendricks, Reporter, Wood. And the Emmy goes to... Kimberly Russell, Kim Russell, WXYZ. When green news started flowing onto I-696 last month, it made national headlines. We've now found out it is toxic chemicals that were left in a building owned by Gary Sayers. We've again and again tried getting in touch with him. We found out that he told the state that he lives here at this home in Marion Township, so we came here to talk to him. As we walked up to the house, we saw piles of debris everywhere blocking our way to the front door. There's no one in there. And my next category is continuing coverage. And the nominees are Grand Rapids Riots Coverage, Wood. Unemployment Chaos and Confusion, WXMI, Fox17Online.com. The Plot to Kidnap Michigan's Governor, WXYZ. Midland County Historic Flooding, WEYI, MidMichiganNow.com. Black Lives Matter protests clash with police. WJBK, Fox2Detroit.com. Lakeside Academy student death. WWMT. Protests against police brutality. WDIV. And the Emmy goes to the plot to kidnap Michigan's governor. Jim Kurtzner, Heather Catalo, Kenan Oliphant, Eve Jones, Tim Korkendorfer and Kim Russell at WXYZ. We are learning more about the breaking news sending shockwaves across the nation tonight. 13 people now facing federal and state charges in the wake of a raid you saw only on 7 Action News last night in Heartland. This is our first look at mugshots of the suspects accused of plotting against state government and Governor Whitmer for months in secret meetings. The investigation that put an end to it all spanned the state. Hundreds of law enforcement officers executed search warrants in nearly two dozen communities, including several in Metro Detroit. And my next category is Photographer Sports. And the nominees are John Bondegard, Detroit Lions, DetroitLions.com. Kevin Guralewski Composite, Fox Sports Detroit. Riverside Skate Park, Fox Sports Detroit. Schwarzenberger Cinematography, Fox Sports Detroit. And the Emmy goes to Riverside Skate Park, Andrew Walton, Fox Sports Detroit. Everybody can feel welcome, you know. It's people from every background, uh, all different types of colors, nationalities, cultures, you know, come together and, you know, do what they love to do. It's a wonderful thing, man, to see the unity, especially with everything that's going on in this world. You know, making change happen here with just a piece of wood and a couple wheels, and that's really beautiful, you know. And my next category is Magazine Program. And the nominees are Michigan's Best Day, MLive.com. Great Lakes Now, From Rust to Resilience, WTVS. Destination Michigan, WCMU. Some Good News Special, WZZM. And the Emmy goes to Destination Michigan, Courtney Jerome, Adam Medema, Stephanie Mills, Chris Ogilzali, Matthew Ozenich, Stephen Smith, WCMU. To kick things off, we'll hit the road for a fall color tour that stretches across the north. Then we'll take a bite out of one of the thousand varieties of apples at Eastman's Forgotten Ciders and Antique Apples. Stephanie Mills takes us to the Wild Pumpkin in Beaverton, and Courtney Jerome introduces us to a very special farmer and shepherd. And we'll wrap things up with visits to Freakin' Pickles in Augre and Mountain Town Brewing Company in Mount Pleasant. And my next category is Education Schools Short or Long Form Content. And the nominees are Education for All, Bridging the Digital Divide Through COVID, WDIV. Professor on the Road, Michigan State University, YouTube.com. 
the new North Pole of the Winds, University of Michigan, youtube.com. And the Emmy goes to... Professor on the Road, Troy Hale, Michigan State University, youtube.com. This spring, the university that I worked at went completely online. Both instructors and students had to adapt quickly. Let me do that again. Take two. I also have this lens right here. So I decided to shoot and edit all of my lectures. And you're gonna get levels here, which is really cool. Not in an office, but outside doing fun things. And staying socially distant. And my next category is director live or recorded live. And the nominee is Let It Rip, WJBK. And the Emmy goes to Let It Rip, Christina Larson, WJBK. Primary Ready, goal right? in the police power is to protect life and protect human beings. So, we right, have a global punch, pandemic right, right now. And three 200, bucks are dead in this country. Right, it's irresponsible to rip off the mask mandate. Okay, and, Senator uh, Cormier, let me bring in uh, Pete Lucido. All right, so uh, Pete Lucido, right uh, you were not in favor of the governor's orders, so I guess you won, but doesn't that now okay, put cool. the burden on the, the legislature right to at least do something? We are still in a pandemic after Ready, all. Ready, left. The legislature left, has punch, already seen the ruling name, from the court, Charles, and it's a good see. thing it has because it taking... And my next category is commercial campaign. And the nominees are In the Game Together, Fox Sports Detroit. Classic VHS Tune-Ins, Fox Sports Detroit. Give the Gift of Wow, Holiday. Fluid Motion Productions, WPBN. And the Emmy goes to In the Game Together, Andrew Walton, Brian Dukoff, Jason McCombs, Lauren Pober, Fox Sports Detroit. It breaks my heart to see dogs on the streets in Detroit, and that's why we do this. I connect with some of these dogs on a deeper level, but I also connect with the people. How's my big baby doing? He looks so good. All right, so we're looking at food and straw, right? You know, it feels so good to be that ray of light or that piece of hope. We know that we can't fix it all, we can't do it all, but we're gonna wake up again tomorrow and try. It's like Detroit. You can't beat a team that never quits. And the next category is environment science, short or long form content. And the nominees are Vaccination, W-I-L-X, W-I-L-X.com. Rising Waters, Wood. Great Lakes Now, Chicago's Floating Islands, WTVS. Sam's Story, Outside the Box Treatment Helps with Brain Cancer. Michigan Medicine, YouTube.com. Great Lakes Now, High Cost of High Water, WTVS. And the Emmy goes to... Great Lakes Now, Chicago's Floating Islands. Rob Green, Doug Clevenger, and Nick Austin from WTVS. Throughout the world, most cities have gone through a process of widening, straightening, dredging their rivers to create this sort of shipping system. And, you know, the process of that was at the detriment to the wildlife that was originally there. So one of the real big missions of this is to create a model for how you would build an ecosystem in a river within a densely populated urban area. Nick Wesley is one of the co-founders of Urban Rivers, the group that is working to create Wild Mile. And the next category is Historical Cultural News. And the nominees are Arsenal of Determination, Detroit Free Press, Freep.com. Hidden Beneath Since 1885, WZZM. The Michigan Barber School, WJBK. A Conversation with Black Mothers on Race, WDIV, click on Detroit.com. And the Emmy goes to Hidden Beneath Since 1885, Brent Ashcroft and Evan Linnert, WZZM. Somewhere off Sleeping Bear Point, 
hidden within the uneven underwater topography that makes up the Manitou Passage. The quickest route up to the Mackinac Straits was in between the islands. Rests a wreck. It's a smaller version of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Its final resting place has been a Great Lakes mystery for more than a century. People have looked for it before. Ross Richardson is one of them. His side scan sonar captured this image. I thought, okay, this could be that vessel. And the next category is Arts Entertainment News. And the nominees are Drive Through Opera, WDIV, Quarantine Pool Tournament, WZZM. And the Emmy goes to Drive Through Opera, Justin DePreckel and Paula Tutman, WDIV. Michigan Opera Theater opened its season in a most unconventional way. Unable to safely distance and pack in the usual patrons, it staged the production, Twilight Gods, as a drive-through experience. And don't go over five miles an hour, no burning your tires. It was an adventure, a first for the city and many patrons. Because it's really different. <laughs> it's like a drive-through opera. Um, who does that? Opera. And the next category is Writer News. And the nominee is Brent Ashcroft Writing Composite, WZZM. And the Emmy goes to... Let's see. Brent Ashcroft Writing Composite, Brent Ashcroft, WZZM. Take a whiff. Seriously. You can almost smell the secondhand smoke. I always have a fascination with rolling objects. The stale beer. It's very mesmerizing. And here the hustlers. Stupid game anyway. Swearing like sailors. I used to like this game. But this is no pool hall. They aren't typical and players. It, it does! And my last category is Sports Story News Feature. And the nominees are Football Lives Matter, Flintbeat, YouTube.com. Muskegon Nike Commercial, WZZM13onyourside.com. Planet Lions, a whole new schedule revealed. Detroit Lions, DetroitLions.com. Ella Being Ella, WZZM. Brendan Sullivan Honors Fallen Hero, WEYI. And the Emmy goes to... Ella being Ella, Brent Ashcroft and Evan Leonard from WZZM. It's time for practice inside the old barn at LaSalle High School. It looks and sounds push it, push it, push it like normal. But something's Use your legs. missing. Good shot. I don't see myself not being able to do things that like my friends can do. Ella Adams is reminded every day what it is. I don't have a hand like them. Ella was born with a condition known as I thought it was a dream. Amniotic band syndrome. I was just devastated. Her Our next category is reporter sports. And the nominees are Brooke Fletcher sports reporter Fox Sports Detroit. Mike Lassette sports reporter WZZM WZZM 13.com. Johnny Kane Fox Sports Detroit, foxsportsdetroit.com, Detroit. Brad Galley, WXYZ 2020 Metro Detroit Sports Coverage, WXYZ. And the Emmy goes to Mike Lissette, sports reporter. Michael Ladocella, WZZM, out of Grand Rapids. Congratulations. His game was called NBA Jam. It was two on two basketball where you can break all the rules and the law of gravity. A little help, please. The nature of it. Our next category is health medical news. And the nominees are Roger Hayward, a team effort to defeat traumatic injury. Henry Ford Allegiance Health, henryford.com. Confronting mental health, Michigan residents share their stories. mlive.com. Coronavirus mutations, how they happen and how they can be helpful. 
WDIV. And the Emmy goes to... Confronting Mental Health, Michigan residents share their stories. Jeremy Marble, Lori Chapman, Neil Blake, MLive.com. Congratulations to the recipients. I want people to understand that there's hope and there's help. All they have to do is ask. MLive asked for first-person essays from Michigan residents impacted by mental health issues. Their stories offer windows into the lives of people struggling with and learning to manage their mental health and the mental health of their loved ones. I always knew I had issues. Our next category is politics, government, short or long form content. And the nominees are Pistons Vote and Social Change, Detroit Pistons, Pistons.com. Disinformation Training, WZZM. And the Emmy goes to Disinformation Training, Jamie Fortier, WZZM, out of Grand Rapids. Congratulations. We're going to look at two broad categories of incorrect information you will encounter online, misinformation and disinformation. And the main difference is intent. Misinformation is false content that is shared by someone who doesn't realize it's wrong. Kind of like the person in your feed who shares an article by The Onion and didn't realize it was satire. It could also be a photo with a misleading caption or from an entirely different event than what it claims. Our next category is Editor Long Form Content. And the nominees are Curious Crew Compilation, WKAR. Changing the Game, Hockey Town's Next Generation, Olympia Entertainment, Red Wings, Fox Sports Detroit. The Amazing Story of Vietnam Veteran Asamu Johnson, iMichigan Productions, PeacefulWarriorsProject.com. Brian McCullough and Hunter Mitchell, Editor, Michigan Medicine, YouTube.com. And the Emmy goes to... Brian McCullough and Hunter Mitchell, Brian McCullough, Hunter Mitchell, Michigan Medicine, YouTube.com. Congratulations to the recipients. Sam was diagnosed with glioblastoma, which is a grade four brain tumor. And um, it's very aggressive and it's often very difficult to treat. Typically has a life expectancy of 12 to 18 months. I see children with high-risk um, brain tumors, and, and Sam was, by the time we met him in our clinic, he already had the diagnosis of GBM. Sam's a real unique kid. And Our next category is Director, Sports. And the nominees are Michael Odino, Director, Fox Sports Detroit, Riverside Skate Park, Fox Sports Detroit. And the Emmy goes to Michael Odino, director, Fox Sports Detroit. Here's the 2-2. Launch to left center. Did he get enough? He did. Gone! <laughs> Jacoby Jones wears a crown off the Cincinnati closer. A two-run blast, and the Tigers surge back in front. Who needs bunting when you got that kind of power? Well, that's a way to make up. The next category is News Excellence. And the nominee is WXYZ. And the Emmy goes to WXYZ, Rhonda Lavelle. A message of equality. You've been listening to speakers, uh, community members, um, young people, old people, different races, all together out there in one in unison. Carolyn Clifford with Deputy Chief Bettison, and she spoke briefly about how she's seen him across the community, what it means Detroit police who care, and really, we've had an opportunity to see his tears this week, because earlier this week, we saw him get choked and up about his community, Carolyn. Our next category up is Crime News. And the nominees are Operation Crucial Capture, WJBK. Connected in Crime, Detroit to West Virginia, WXYZ. And the Emmy goes to...
Connected in crime, Detroit to West Virginia, Brian Abel, WXYZ. Many of the articles detailing various crimes mainly happening in West Virginia at the hands of individuals from Detroit. Murder, drug trafficking, a fatal hit and run, and multiple mass shootings. And law enforcement says as long as the opiate crisis rages, likely so too will the violence. Next category is Anchor News. And the nominees are David Custer News Anchor, WNEM. Taryn Asher Anchor, WJBK. Alicia Smith, WXYZ. And the Emmy goes to, and we have a tie this time, David Custer, news anchor, WNEM. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer coming to you live tonight from downtown Midland. It looks like we are standing on the shores of the Titabawasi River, but actually we are on Ashman between Ann and Main Street. Take a look behind me right here. You see that green roof? That is the farmer's market, and right behind it you can see the top of the tridge. Now, the Titabawasi River has leveled off as of right now. We just received word from the National Weather Service that... And Taryn Asher, WJBK. Let you, Jessica, kind of get your bearings again, and, and uh, you can bring us some more details in a moment. But right now, uh, we want to get back to Chief Craig. A short time ago, we know that he addressed the escalating tensions at the protest in Detroit. Here's what he had to say. I just learned not even... And our next category is newscast, morning, daytime, evening. And the nominees are... The Plot to Kidnap the Governor, WXYZ. Mid-Michigan Flooding Disaster, WXYZ. Mid-Michigan Flood Recovery Begins, WJRT. And our final Emmy of the night goes to... Mid-Michigan Flooding Disaster, Ashley Klinger, Alan Campbell, and Glenda Lewis, WXYZ. Disaster in mid-Michigan. I've never seen anything like this. Dams failing. Towns underwater. Devastating. Very sad. People forced from their homes. The river's rising. This is the worst flooding I have ever seen. Tonight, new concerns over what's in those waters. New calls for accountability and the devastation as Michigan deals with this historic catastrophe. Congratulations to all the nominees and recipients. It is virtual this year, but it's still, it's been great to be with you. Have a great night. And congratulations to all of our nominees and recipients. And a big congratulations to all of our nominees and of course, all of the recipients. Great job. Congratulations to all the nominees and recipients. What a year it has been. Congratulations to all of the nominees and the recipients. It has been an absolute pleasure to be with you this evening. Congratulations to the nominees and the recipients. I hope you have a great evening and a great weekend.